ultralight aircraft offer fun and value to the aviation enthusiast. It's true that you don't need a license to fly these planes, but even airline pilots love flying them, just for the joy or flying. If you're thinking about getting into the world of ultralight flying, here are 10 of the most popular ultralight aircraft worthy of consideration. True ultralight aircraft fall under FAA's Part 103 Aerial Recreational Vehicle, ARV. These aircraft are essentially unregulated and pilots don't need licenses to fly them. Many ultralights are kit built by their owner slash pilots. Ultralights come in many forms. The most common designs are trikes, which are simple fuselages suspended under standard hang gliding wings. Also popular are powered parachutes. But if you notice from the rules above, ultralights are not only limited to one category of aircraft. There are ultralight airplanes, helicopters, and even gyrocopters. Many other designs are out there that have two seats, higher performance, or larger airframes. These may be built at home by a DIY flyer, or they might be partially completed at a factory and sold as a kit. They will then be certified and registered as an experimental aircraft by the FAA under FAR Part 23. They can then be operated under Part 91, General Flight Operations, by a licensed pilot, just like any other certified aircraft. Top 10 Most Popular Ultralight Aircraft 1. Thunder Gull 2000 This design was first introduced in the 1970s and since then countless pilots have enjoyed this fun aircraft. This trailerable, kit-built aircraft is fun. The hearth engine reduces vibration sometimes felt in ultralight aircraft and gives the pilot a smooth, easy ride. The Gull 2000 is one of the best-looking ultralights in the sky. It has a sleek enclosed airframe with fiberglass components. 2. Pterodactyl Ascender The Pterodactyl Ascender was first built in the late 1970s and they have been extremely popular. It flew at the Oshkosh Air Show in 1979 and nearly 1,400 kits were sold by 1984. The Pterodactyl has a hang glider style design. The original company was sold in 1984 and the design has since been owned by a variety of companies. The model has several iterations and variants such as the Ascender, Fledge, Fledgling, among others. 3. Composite FX XEL Helicopter This helicopter has floats and can therefore weigh more than the standard Part 103 limit of 254 pounds. The composite FX XEL features a fiberglass airframe and can reach air speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. The XEL is available as a kit or factory finished for under $50,000. Composite FX makes three other models of experimental helicopter, including the Turbine XED. 4. Aeromarine Merlin Light It has a gorgeous panel in the cockpit with a GPS, full EFIF with artificial horizon, airspeed, altimeter, G-meter, heading indicator, compass, and ball. It also has seven windows and a door. This aircraft packs features typically reserved for fully registered aircraft into an ultralight frame. It can have either tricycle gear or be configured as a taildragger. 5. Quicksilver MX-103 Quicksilver is known for their full range of kit planes and ready-to-fly light sport aircraft. They make simple high-wing planes with open or enclosed cockpits. They've sold over 15,000 aircraft since starting in the 1970s. Their MX-103 meets the requirements of FAR Part 103 as an ultralight aircraft. They also make a two-place light sport version of the same airframe, which is the perfect option for pilots who want type training. 6. Jordan Lake Airbike 103 Unlike many planes on our list, the airbike is available only as plans and unfinished parts kits. It's a simple airframe that consists of a tubular steel frame with wooden wings. The company says it takes about 450 hours to build one of their planes. 7. Buckeye Dragonfly Powered Parachute A powered parachute is the ultimate ultralight vehicle. 
For DIY builders, they represent a unique combination of simplicity, fun, and quick build times. There are two-seater and larger options for pilots not needing to remain within the limits of FAR Part 103. The fuselage is nothing more than a tubular aluminum frame with tricycle or quad landing gear and a seat. A pusher engine is mounted behind the pilot, which turns a standard propeller. 8. North Wing Maverick 2RT Trikes show of the ingenuity of ultralight builders. They use an existing airfoil that's readily available, the hang gliding wing. To it, that add a tricycle geared open cockpit and engine. It's simple and inexpensive, and it makes a fun flying experience. 9. You fly at Aerolite 103. Aerolites come completely assembled from the company's plant in DeLand, Florida. You get to pick your colors, and the engine you'd like installed. For those wanting to build their own, a quick build kit can be completed in less than 50 hours. The plane is a good-looking high wing with external struts and a tubular framed fuselage. A clear windscreen surrounds the framing, giving an enclosed cockpit with an unlimited view. 10. CGS Hawk Arrow CGS has been building ultralights at their Florida facility since 1982. They've won many design awards from the Experimental Aircraft Association and at the Sun and Fun Annual Flying In. The Hawk is a high-wing monoplane with external bracing. The wings are fabric-covered, and the fuselage is composite. CGS Hawk Aviation advertises that the average first-time builder can complete this ultralight in 200 hours.